Alexa, open WikiHow. Okay, here's WikiHow. Hi, ask me how to do anything. How to take care of a corn snake. How to care for a corn snake. To care for your corn snake, give it plenty of water in a bowl big enough to drink from and soak in, and change the water twice a week. Feed your snake one mouse every week, getting your corn snake bigger and bigger mice to eat as it grows bigger. When you feed your snake, give it frozen or thawed mice rather than live ones, and use tweezers to hold the mice while you wiggle them in front of your snake. Finally, clean your snake's cage every three weeks, but try to scoop out fresh excrement when you can to keep it tidy between cleanings. If you would like each step read out in detail, say read steps. Read steps. Step 1. Get the right size tank for your snake. Corn snake adults can get to be as big as 5 feet, 1.4 meters, long. You may not need a 20 gallon, 75.7 liters, enclosure for a hatchling, but eventually you will. The enclosure can be either a tank or vivarium. When the snake is small, it is okay to start your pet off in a smaller tank such as a living world faunarium or similar product. For a large snake, the vivarium should be around 30 to 50 inches, 76.2 to 127.0 centimeters, long but there's no real limit on size, just make sure it's large enough for the snake. To continue, say next. Next. Step 2. Give your corn snake enough heat. Provide a basking bulb that covers about one-third of the tank to provide a proper heat gradient. Position the bulb over one side of the tank to get a gradient temperature. Temperatures should be about 75 to 85 degrees Fahrenheit, 23 to 29 degrees Celsius, with the higher temperature on the warm area of the tank at one side. You can also use a heat mat, but it may put your snake at risk of a burn. If you use a heat mat, it must be thermostatically controlled because they reach in excess of 250 degrees F. 121 degrees Celsius, which will severely burn the snake. Place the mat under one third of the cage. Hot rocks are never suitable for any pet as they provide a localized source of heat that is too hot. A cold snake may curl around it, seriously burning itself. To continue, say next. Next. Step 3. Give your snake some hiding places. You should provide some places for your snake to hide in to feel secure. Put at least one hiding spot in the warm area and one in the cool area. If you like, it's okay to add additional hiding spots if the habitat is large enough. Hides can be anything from shop-bought ones to Lego pieces. Be creative here but make sure your materials are non-toxic, not edible, and not ingestible. To continue, say next. Next. Step 4. Provide your snake with a branch for climbing. Your snake will want to explore its habitat, so include at least one branch for it to slither up. Look for a sturdy branch, which can be store-bought. Securely install the branch in the tank so your snake can safely crawl up and down it. Check for climbing branches at a local pet store or online. If you find a branch in nature, clean it well and make sure it's free of bugs before you put it in your snake's habitat. To continue, say next. Next. Step 5. Cover your tank or vivarium with substrate. There are many, many different floor coverings commercially available for corn snakes but your best options are reptocarpet, cypress chips, plain paper towels, and newspaper. Newspaper is the best as it is very absorbent and easy to replace. While practical, newspaper is not very aesthetically pleasing. If you want a decorative substrate, use bark or cypress mulch. Do not use cedar shavings in a snake habitat, as it is toxic to reptiles. To continue, say next. Next. Final step. Never catch a wild corn snake. Corn snakes are becoming more and more easy to obtain, but that doesn't mean you should seek them out. Wild ones do not adjust well to captivity and have a low survival rate. Captive bred ones have been in captivity for many generations and have become very domesticated. Find a good breeder, either through a forum or other source. Pet shops are not good as you cannot be sure if the snake comes from a reputable source. Once you have your snake, leave it five days before feeding or handling it so it can settle in. Okay, you've reached the end of the article. To hear it again from the beginning, ask how to care for a corn snake. Or, you can ask how to do something else. What would you like to do? Exit.